Hi, my name's Alex Walford, and I was working on something recently that required HA um, MySQL or MariaDB, and uh, I wanted to show you what that looks like. The first thing I did was reached out to a former boss um, from an ad tech company that I worked at, Johnny Delicious. Um, people had struggled pronouncing his uh, Greek name here, um, and he um, suggested that I take a look at Galera. So Galera is a clustered version of MariaDB. It's active, active, active. Um, so you can have multi-masters, you can read and write from anyone. They'll keep each other in sync. And this is exactly what we needed for our particular use case. We have uh, instances running in um, different environments and they need to stay in sync. And um, this works right out of the box. Galera cluster is actually included with MariaDB, so if you put in the MariaDB repo, um, you don't need to um, install anything special to spin this up. You need to edit a couple of files, so let's pop over to one of my Galera nodes here. I have two Galera nodes, so let's go to node 1 and take a look at one of these files. So uh, it's uh, etsy um, my, my .conf .d and then server.conf and this is what I had to edit um, to tell it that it was part of a cluster. So we have um, the IP addresses of all the um, nodes here. So I have two nodes, 10.0.1.31 and 32. And then I had to tell it, okay, you are this node, you're node 31 and you're called Galera01. So I, I had to do the same thing on the other node and there's a bootstrap command uh, to spin these up. So the first thing you do is run this Galera new cluster command um, on the first node and then the second uh, node that you spin up and all the subsequent nodes, you just start MariaDB and they'll join the cluster. And uh, it really is that simple to spin up a, a Galera cluster. For high availability, it was necessary to put a load balancer in front of the Galera nodes. And the reason for this is, although we can connect directly to one of the uh, cluster nodes, if that node was to go down and, and our application was reading or writing from that node, it wouldn't be able to fail over to another node. So by putting a load balancer in front of it, then we have true high availability. I used HAProxy to do this, and it was pretty simple. HAProxy has this really handy feature called MySQL Check that continually monitors the um, backend uh, Galera servers to make sure that they're online, and it will only route requests to healthy instances. I'm using Round Robin, and it's gonna alternate requests between Galera 1 and Galera 2. So I want to show you how this works in practice. I have my, my two nodes here, and I can query these directly, but it really doesn't make sense. I should go through HA proxy. Um, so let's um, fire up a, uh, a console here that is going to query HA proxy. So you can see here I'm on my local machine. The host is called HA proxy. My user is Alex, and I'm just going to enter my password here. And let me select star from test.test. .test. So I have a database called test with a table called tests and it contains this string in it. So what I'm gonna do now is um, take one of the nodes offline and we can see the behavior here. So first of all, let's pop over to Galera1 here. I'm going to say system CTL uh, stop uh, MariaDB. And in a moment, we should see that HA proxy detects this as being down or unhealthy. Yeah, look, we can see Galera one is unhealthy. But I can still query it. I can go to my my uh, command prompt here and I can I can query. Oh, it, the the connect the MySQL that I was connected to has gone away, but if I run it again, it will flip over to the other one and come back. So we we were able to lose a node in the cluster and still um, maintain availability there. There was a moment a momentary glitch while it flipped over. 
I'm going to do the same thing the other way around. So let's bring this node back up. So I'm going to start MariaDB on, on this node. Let's, uh, in a moment, we should see it go healthy. Um, so it's coming back online. Okay, it's up, it's healthy. So, you know, we can query this again. Very good. And now let's kill um, the other one. Um, so Galera2, systemctl stop uh, MariaDB on Galera2. So uh, I've color coded these terminals. The green ones are Galera1 and the blue ones are Galera2. Let's refresh this page. Oh, it's unhealthy, but luckily we can still query it. So again, momentary uh, outage, but um, it's living on. In this short video, we showed you how to make MariaDB highly available using the Galera cluster. We used HA proxy in front of the Galera cluster to route requests to the healthy nodes. I hope that was useful. Thank you so much for watching.